of God can change lives and in scripture it tells us that where two or three are gathered whether it's in person or online that's where the Spirit of the Lord is and his presence can change our hearts can change our minds and it can radically change our lives so we sing this song out we sing his presence that we want the Lord, we want him to come like never before to work in our hearts and work in our lives. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like never before. Your Oh, 
We have a God who comes through on his promises. Now, last week I talked about how there are certain emotions that I'd been dealing with through 2020 and into 2021, and the primary one was anger. Now, some of you resonated with that, and some of you might resonate with other emotions, such as anxiety, depression, fear, or maybe it's a positive emotion that has turned negative. Maybe you're so happy with the situation you are in life that you look down at other people and say, God, I'm so glad I don't act or look or think like that person. You see, that can be negative as well. Oftentimes, I look for ways to help me deal with my, my AAA that I've talked about, my anger, my anxiety, and my addictions. Now, I'm always looking to scripture, and I'm always looking to Jesus, but I'm also open to what other people have to say about the issue. And I came across this book, it's called The Garden, and it's a fable about two kids that meet with their neighbor in his garden, and they talk about ways that you can overcome what the devil's going to throw at you. So I wanted to read just a little tiny section of this, it's just a quote. And it talks about how Adam and Eve in the garden, after they ate the fruit, it says Adam and Eve, they hid behind a tree, naked and covered in shame because of what they had done, because of their guilt, because of the fact that their eyes were open to sin in the world. They were so ashamed to be in God's presence. And then it says, then Jesus hung on a tree naked and he conquered shame. Now, all the songs today are going to talk about the cross and talk about Jesus and talk about what the cross has done for each and every one of us. And it was the same in the first service. And the funny thing about this is, and God usually works in funny ways like this, is that all of these songs were planned in advance before Brad ever told me what he was going to be preaching on or the fact that we'd have this gnarly, ugly cross sitting center stage for all of us to focus on and stare at. We don't have to be ashamed and hide from God because of the things that we're dealing with or the things that we have dealt with. I don't have to sit with the temptation of anger and wallow because I can't escape it. I can look to this ugly, gnarly cross and know that Jesus went there and he took all of it. And I know that I don't have to deal with it alone because I know that if I deal with it alone, it's going to crush me and I'm going to be defeated. But if I look at the cross and if I look to Jesus and know that his presence is with me, and if you look to Jesus, whether you're here in this room or you're on the live stream, you don't have to be ashamed because of your past. You don't have to be ashamed of what you're dealing with or the thoughts that you have because you know what? We have emotions. And if anything, 2020 has realized that we have emotions. And 2021 has just solidified the fact that we have strong emotions and strong opinions. But when we let those emotions get the best of us, that's when we fail. But when we look to the cross, when we look to Jesus, we know that we can overcome them. We know that we don't have to deal with temptation on our own because Jesus already did it. The 40 days that he spent in the desert, it wasn't a pleasure cruise for him. Think about it. He didn't have food. He didn't have water. His feet must have been calloused. His lips must have been broken open from being so chapped. Think about how skinny he got, how thirsty he was, how hungry he was, how haggard he was from being in the wilderness for that long. And then Satan comes along. And I'm sure he said, aren't you mad at God for doing this? Aren't you depressed because you have to go without food? Aren't you angry? Aren't you anxious? But he overcame all of that. And then he put it to end once and for all at the cross. So no, no matter what we're going through, we have the ability to say, yes, I will. I will lift you high, Jesus. I will lift you high, God, because in this valley, it will not overtake me. Because I know that you are walking with me. You are right there beside me. So as we sing these next couple songs, remember that you are not alone. You are not facing whatever you're dealing with alone. You have a God who loves you and is walking with you step by step the entire way through. Would you join us as we continue to worship this morning?
Cause I count on one thing The same God that never fails You will not fail me now No, you won't fail me now Cause in the waiting The same God who's never late He's working all things out He's working all things out
Don't 